Welcome back to Make Money Building WordPress Websites. And by now you should have a better understanding of how domains work, be set up with your registrar account, and then have a domain registered that you're going to use for your business website. So now we'll get into the web hosting side of things. Web hosting is basically the server, cloud, or space where the website files are housed and served up to the internet. When we think about the history of web hosting, it went from the first versions of hosting on a physical piece of hardware known as a server into dedicated hosting and virtual private servers. And then we moved into Web 2.0 that started offering cloud-based hosting, which is where we're at right now. We're slowly moving into Web 3 hosting, which will be working on blockchain technology and use machine learning and artificial intelligence, which should be super cool. In the near future, you'll be able to run your own node and manage all of your websites on that node. But maybe we'll go over that in the future. I don't want to focus too much energy on getting accounts set up in all these different web hosts. One of the things I really try to work on is organization, and keeping things in one place or as close to that as possible. That type of organization is what's going to allow you the ability to do so much by yourself. So with that, let's take a look at hosting companies and pick our provider. For this course, we're going to be setting up our hosting services on a managed WordPress platform. Since we're only building WordPress websites, we want to be with a web host that specializes in WordPress. And there's some really good options out there. And as a reminder, when you're looking at hosting for your new business, you'll want to always keep in mind how to position it to scale up for hosting hundreds or even thousands of websites. You can research the handful of managed WordPress hosting companies out there, but a company that's been amazing for me and for the other digital agencies that I've worked with over time is Flywheel. They're an amazing company that was recently acquired by WP Engine. If I had to choose a second place for this, it would be Kinsta, who is also great with support and focused on WordPress. We're going to stick with Flywheel for this entire course. They're amazing. The services are really good, and they offer a lot in their plans, which is geared specifically to WordPress developers and agencies. And they make it really easy to host and manage a ton of WordPress websites all in one place. So here we are at the Flywheel website, getflywheel.com, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a look at, first, the product itself. We're going to talk about what managed WordPress hosting is, and then we'll do a quick review of the features, the price points, and then we'll get set up with our uh, managed WordPress hosting account through Flywheel. So let's hop on over to the managed WordPress hosting page on the Flywheel website, and here they're going to go through an entire rundown of what it all means. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to pop in this two minute video and we're going to take a look at it right now so we can get the explanation from Flywheel. As the owner of a WordPress site, you want it to be fast, secure, and reliable. That's why one of the best things you can do is choose a managed WordPress host. Here's why. Managed WordPress hosting has a lot of benefits compared to the shared hosting plans you may be used to. For one, it's optimized specifically for WordPress. From the way the servers are structured to the people they hire for support, you can trust that a managed WordPress host is truly an expert on your site's CMS, WordPress. You'll also see a bunch of performance and security benefits with a managed host, because your site doesn't have to share resources. With shared hosting, multiple sites are placed on a single server, hence the shared part of the name. This is great because it keeps costs low, but not great because your site has to share resources with all those other ones. That means if one site on your server sees a traffic spike or gets hacked using up most of the resources on the server, your site will likely see downtime. With managed WordPress hosting, your site gets its own resources, so you don't have to worry about anybody's site but your own. That means more reliable performance and better security for you. Plus, a managed host will offer additional features and tools designed to simplify the burden of managing WordPress sites. That's where the managed part comes into play. These features commonly include things like automatic nightly backups, WordPress updates, development tools, advanced caching settings, and free SSL certificates. With a managed WordPress provider, you can also trust that their support team fully understands WordPress, and not only understands it, but are experts in it. They'll be able to recognize the difference between a potential plugin conflict, a tricky theme, or a server level issue. They'll know exactly what settings a WordPress site needs to run at optimal performance, and they'll have reputable recommendations if you have other WordPress related questions. So there you have it. With managed WordPress hosting, your site will see better performance and security, and you'll get better support. They really did a good job with that video in explaining how managed WordPress works uh, specific to their offerings, which which is really awesome. So we'll go back up to your products. Now they offer this 
program called Growth Suite. This is something that um, could recommend you looking into depending on how many clients you're going to tackle right away. So the big thing here is there's a couple schools of thought in looking at this. Clients actually log in and take care of their their billing um, and their site management, things like that. Or you as the provider can take care of all that right through the flywheel interface here that we're about to set up and then bill your clients out, which is what I'm going to recommend. This is going to keep them in your pipeline for hosting services and less likely to leave to manage things on their own. And when we go in and take a look at all of the features that Flywheel offers, and just like in the video, these are these are all points that you can use to give to clients um, when, when offering hosting. And they're all opportunities for upsells. So if we go through you know, each of these um, site migration opportunity for upsell, now that's more for developers. A lot of these now, pretty much everyone these days offers free SSL, but in some markets, people are still paying GoDaddy, what is it, $120 per year for an SSL certificate. That could be a potential upsell uh, or, or an offer, a benefit to give clients to get them to move over with you. So this is just overall great features um, that can be used for upselling. And of course their support is awesome have never had a problem with support from Flywheel and responses are usually within the hour. Uh, it doesn't even matter the problem within the hour, even if they have to escalate it. So now we'll take a look at the pricing, um, what it all means. When you, when you take a look at pricing right off the bat, you may say, oh, why is it so expensive? Well, again, keep in mind, managed WordPress hosting. You've got everything taken care of here where if, if we went and got a shared hosting account over at GoDaddy for $1.99 for that first month, uh, we're, we're, getting, we're getting slopped onto an old web server with 100 other websites plus um, not built for WordPress specifically. And we're going to be dealing with security issues, uh, hacks, um, site downtime because of other websites on the machine. So just as a whole, understanding that managed WordPress hosting, it's so much more secure. There's always eyes on it. Um, services are geared specifically for WordPress, which is what we're doing. So with Flywheel, we can start small. Um, I would actually recommend the starter if you're in that phase where we remember we talked about getting the, the starter account with, with Bluehost just to do all of your testing and playing with WordPress and learn more. If you're still at that stage, this would be a great option to get started. Um, one note, you can always start small and then scale as you need it, understanding that you can get better pricing as the number of your sites grow. So I remember right around the 300 website mark, uh, you can expect to work directly with uh, the sales team here. And we got websites down to about $5 per month per site. And so you can do the numbers there. And further on, when we start talking about the business aspects and the offerings, um, you'll be making four to five times that, that cost per month per site. So as we get started with hosting and, and building this business, we're not going to make money on hosting right away. That We're going to start making the money once we get into quantity of sites that we're going to be hosting. So as we get set up here, I'm going to flip this over to monthly. Um, to note, the handling monthly billing is going to be better as we get started. So I like to do everything monthly until we're um, in a situation where We've got a number of sites where we feel comfortable with, and then we can go into or possibly upgrade to the annual plan to help save a little money. I'm gonna use in this example, we're gonna get set up with a freelance plan because we wanna take advantage of the 10 sites. Our business site's gonna take up that one site. And so we, we want to set it and forget it so we can start managing client sites as well. That'll give us nine sites total we can bring in. And let's get started. So go through and start by entering your information. And then I specifically, I want to make sure that you take a look at the Flywheel's terms of service. Reason why you should take a look at these is because you can use a lot of this information. These terms, they're going to be applicable to your clients and can be used as terms of service for your client hosting. So keep that in mind as you move forward. So now I've completed the account setup. I paid my $115 and now I'm going to sign into the account and I've already set an account up previously so we're going to sign in and now we get to the flywheel dashboard 
which is very simple in layout. And we're not going to go over everything. We're just going to take a quick look at the features per site so you can kind of see how it's all going to work. And then again, when we when we start doing our website build out, we'll go a little more specific into the recommended settings for each site. So on my dashboard here, I've already got my 10 websites set up for this account. We're going to take a look at our main website here and we'll click on it and we get to see all the, the cool functions here where we're going. We can manage all of our DNS right from the main area here. We can add collaborators. So if you've got, let's say, let's say you've hired someone from Upwork to help work on some of your websites or your technical support, you can set them up as collaborators so they actually have access to the dashboard for these websites and you can pick which websites they have access to. So really quick and going through this, we've got our main settings, we've got all of our account setup information here. On each website, we can access the WordPress administrative dashboard with one click. Again, manage DNS, we can manage SSL here, and we've got our plugin management tools, which they've got some real cool, cool stuff for auto updates. We can manage our performance. Now, if, if, um, if a client is requesting to look at stats okay this is very basic information from this stats platform that's why later on in our site build we'll talk about making sure every website has google analytics hooked up to it so clients can see really real detailed stats without having to go into logs and all that on the server backups is one of the super cool things i love about flywheel they run backups automated uh, every 24 hours you can do backups on demand and you can download backups, provide them to clients. You can do backups prior to maintenance on websites. So it's just the backup feature is really cool, really easy. And then this advanced tab has some other cool features that you can use during development and then afterward for managing a website. You know, we want to make sure that the website's really healthy when we launch it. So speed, uh, that's going to help with your rankings, it's going to help with your performance. So that's it. We've got our account set up. And now we are set to start adding websites with a single click. I'm sure you have questions already, but I wanted this video to focus mainly on showing you the best managed WordPress hosting providers and how to get our main hosting account set up. In module four, when we do the step-by-step -step website build for our business, I'll show you how to add a new site in Flywheel and tie your domain name to it. Further down in module eight, we'll talk about using a CRM for keeping track of our client info and website login credentials. But for now, you can download the shared Google spreadsheet that we've created to keep track of all your website information and logins, or you can use an online service like LastPass. In the next video, we're going to continue with web hosting, but we'll talk about how to start thinking about the offer for your clients.